female, they're born a female, amen. That is what God considers marriage. Amen. Yeah. Between male and female. That's that's what you should cause a marriage. Any other thing is not a marriage. Amen. Yeah. I don't care how you try to doctor, I don't care how many preachers or uh, uh, religious people go up there and, and tell you otherwise they're doing nothing but lying unto you. Amen. That's all they're doing is lying to you. Amen. They're lying preachers. And God is mad and upset with the lying preachers. You got to understand this. God is not pleased with the lying, lying he calls them lying dogs. No, he's not. Yeah, he's not happy. Because he, we as preachers of co hymns of the Lord, we're supposed to speak God's truth. What thus says the Lord? Now, can I make you eat these words? No, I can't make you eat the words. But I've got to tell it to you. That's up to you whether you eat them or not. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's and I suggest that what we eat the words. Yes, Lord. That we eat the whole roll, not just a partiality. No. We got to eat what the whole roll. Yes. Amen. Oh, Those involved with the occult. Well, the occult was practicing witchcraft, Ouija board. Uh, astrology, all these things, you know, reading your horoscope and all that type of stuff, all that is considered part of the occult. There's many more things that we can go down the line and talk about what the occult. Okay? God considers this what? An abomination. Amen. Amen. If we want to know anything about our future, what's going to happen tomorrow, we can go to God and ask Him what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, he'll, he'll tell us, he tells us some of the things that's going to happen in the future. Amen. He may or may not tell us. Mm -hmm. Amen. The only thing I'm concerned about tomorrow is that, hey, if you should sure let me see tomorrow, then I want to make sure that I'm, what, I'm being obedient to his commandments and his statutes. I want to stay what, holy and real each and every day, each and every moment. Amen. Yeah. But I do understand that the next moment is not promised to me. It's just a step between me and death. Amen. Just one step. It may not even be a full step. Amen. But I want whatever happens, I want to be found with being obedient to the Word of God. Being obedient to Yeshua. And he includes drugs. You know what he's talking about? When he says drugs, he's talking about those mind altering things that people take. Amen. He's not talking about the medication, but he's talking about. The mind altering thing, the mind that, 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 that helps us, uh, that helps people to go work crazy, to uh, do silly things, amen, do not think clearly or properly. Mind altering, amen, Yo, you do things that, you, that, that, that you're normally against that you go ahead on doing freely and stuff, amen. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, alcohol can do that type of thing to a lot of people, amen? Amen. Thank the Lord, amen. Thank you, you sure. Idol worshipers. You know, idols, you know, uh, a lot of people, you know, it's not just people that you can make out of idol worshiping, amen, but you can make uh, your homes, our homes, we can do uh, vehicles, we can do our uh, uh, spouses, you know, husbands, wives, uh, children, amen, parents, you know, uh, preachers, ministers, amen. Uh, we, can, we, we can do anything that we put before God becomes an idol before us, amen. And we can't uh, put anything before God. Amen. A lot of people put their money before God. Amen. Can't do it. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, it, 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 one of the hardest things to teach about is, is money. It, it's, it's, it's a tool. Amen. God is quite capable of replacing that tool many times over. Amen. If you don't believe, you know, read, read the story about David. Amen. When, uh, uh, he had uh, Uriah killed, amen, you know, by, by Sheba's husband. Yes. Amen. He told David, you know, you didn't have to do this thing. 
He said, if you were not satisfied with the things that I had given you, the only thing you had to do is ask, and I would give, gladly give you more. Amen. Okay. You know, uh, king, amen, getting ready to go to war, and God told him, no, uh, you, you, you send that army back, amen. And the king said, well, look, I already, we already spent so much money, you know, uh, and paid them this much money, amen, to go to war with Wolfers and to fight Wolfers. But uh, I've always told him, say, look, you know, I, I, I'll replace all that. I could, I'm capable of replacing all that money. Plus, give you more. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And see, we got to understand that we need to what? Stop hoarding on, holding on to something that's, you know, uh, it means nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. See, we got to understand that we, we, we need Yeshua. We need God. Yeah, when we in trouble, you know, and we may have a pocket full of money, and, and it's, well, God, and if you haven't been doing God right, then what, what are you going to tell you? Well, you know, turn to your money. Turn to your God. And money can't do nothing. Amen. 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 You say, well, I got money, I can go, I'm, I'm sick, I'm real sick, I can go see a specialist, I can go see this, I can go see that. Well, guess what? That specialist may not be able to help you get healed. Amen. But when we turn to God, and God wants to heal us. He can heal us instantly. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. See, you can have you can have plenty of money and be hungry. Yes, sir. Amen. And, and be hungry. And can't get and, and can't buy any food nowhere. And God, what? He said, "Well, here's here's a bite. Of, here's some food here." You know, see, you're putting your trust. You 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 dis, you're misplacing your trust, Amen. By putting your trust in something that's inanimate that can't do anything for us, Amen. God will put us in situations and let us see. Hey, that idol that you worship can't do a thing for you. Well, who made the money? God made the money. It's God's trees. It's God's plants that makes the money. Without God's trees, without God's plants, you can't make the money. Without God's material, you can't do anything. Well, God's material, we can't even have the clothes that's on our back. Amen. Amen. Yes, the truth. Uh, no, I'm going to hold on to this thing. I'm going to hold on to it for dear life. Better learn how to hold on to God. Amen. Amen. We better learn how, how to hold on to you, sure. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, in all liars, well, all liars, people don't mind lying. I know preachers that are lying a minute. I mean, in a heartbeat. Just lie. I know people are saying that they're saved and got to react, how can that Holy Ghost go about what? Lying. Amen. Just lie, 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 lie. God, God put this in there, uh, uh, let us know that all liars will not make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. He says their destiny is the what? The lake burning with fire and sulfur, the second death. That's your destiny. You make it into hell when you do this thing. When you go get the word of God, amen. That's your destiny. Anybody who does not become subject and obey the word of God, their destiny is the lake of fire. I don't care who you are. Amen. If I do any of these things, my destiny will be where? The lake of fire. Amen. If I don't repent, hey, I'll make it into the lake of fire. Amen. Amen. I don't care who it is. Yes, You sure is not what well, a respectable person. He's given us, he's given us these warnings. 
and telling us what to get it right with him. Amen. I thank God those were just scriptural readings, amen, that you sure to put on my heart to go ahead on and do this morning, amen. Thank you, Lord. And now we're going to go to Ezekiel chapter 11, amen, page 650 in the complete Jewish Bible, amen. And today's subject will be what? Heart of stone. Amen. Hard stone. See, this hard stone, our hard hardness, it's got to be what broken up. We've got to have what? A heart of flesh to make it into the kingdom of Yeshua. We must have a heart of flesh. Amen. Amen. Because the stoniness, the evilness, the wickedness of our hearts will not allow us to make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. To spend eternity with Yeshua. Again, I thank the Lord, amen. amen. And I pray all of us has it, amen. 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 And we're going to go right into it, amen. He says, Then a spirit lifted me up and brought me to the east gate of Adonai's house, the gate that faces eastward. At the entrance of the gate, I saw 25 men among them were Yazana, the son of Azar, and Palatiatu, the son of Benayahu, leaders of the people. He said to me, human being, these are the men who make evil plans and give wicked advice in the city. God is pointing out these people. Why is he pointing out these people? He says they give out what? They make evil plans. And they give out what? Evil, wicked advice. Now see, we like asking people, different people, whether they say or not, you know, we like to get their, their advice, we like to take counsel from them, amen. And Yeshua is telling us right here, don't don't take counsel from the wicked. Amen. Amen. Don't don't do it. Because when we start taking counsel from the wicked, we can find ourselves being wicked, doing that that is wicked, doing that that is evil. Amen. Amen. But those a lot of times the ones that we run to because this seems like their advice sounds better than the advice that Yeshua is giving us. Why is that? Because of what? The stoniness of our hearts. We want to find ourselves to be acceptable uh, or accepted by people rather than being accepted by God. We want to find favor with people. And me, I guess I'm just, I'm just a fool. I'm not trying to find favor with people. I want to find favor with Yeshua. I want to find favor with God. Amen. People don't have a heaven and hell to place me in. Amen? Now if I follow people or take their advice and don't obey Abi Yahweh or Yeshua's advice, then where am I placing myself at? I'm placing myself in hell. Amen? I'm boarding that train that has hell bound on it. Non-stop. Hell bound. That's not the train I want to be on. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, number three, he says, they say the time hasn't come to build houses. This city is the cooking pot and we're the meat. Therefore, prophesize against them, human being prophesize. What are you saying? Hey. They ain't trying to build houses. We're the cooking pot. We're the ones going to be on fire. Yes. God said prophesize against them. Yes. 
He says, The Spirit of Adonai fell on me, and he said to me, Say, here is what Adonai says. What you are saying is correct. He's saying you're correct by what you're saying, that you are the cooking pot. Amen. Amen. You the meat that's going in there. Amen. Saying you're correct. Why? Because you know the evil that you're doing, but you just don't want to repent of it. Amen. You want to keep on saying that your way is right. He says, what you are saying is correct, house of Israel, because I know how your mind works. You have killed many in this city. You have filled the streets with the dead. You're going to kill many. You got to remember that when we're walking in sin and we're saying that we know the word of God, when we're walking, we're killing people. Everybody that looks upon us, amen, we're killing them. Yes, amen. amen. Because what? We're being wicked. We're being deceitful. They can't see the truth. Why? Because we're blocking their pathway to the truth. Yes. Through our lying, wicked, and evil ways, we're blocking the pathways, their pathway. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 We're not being a light. The people still what? Groping in darkness. Yes. Amen. Yes. They're still groping in darkness mm -hmm. because hey, we're supposed to be the light that's there in their corner right there to show them the way. Mm -hmm. But our light is turned off because what? we're walking in evil. We're walking in wickedness. So we got, we're got we killing people. And they are, yeah, yeah. they just a lot of have not just fallen down yet. He says, Therefore, Adonai says this, Those you have killed and strewed all over it, they are the meat, and the city is indeed the cooking pot. But you will be removed from it. You are afraid of the sword, but I will bring the sword upon you. He said, you're afraid of the sword. You're afraid of being killed. You might be afraid of the gun. You might be afraid of the knife. He said, but you're going to be killed by it. He said, says Adonai Elohim, I will bring you out of it, hand you over to foreigners, and execute judgment among you. You will die by the sword. I will judge you at the border of Israel, and you will know that I am a Adonai. This city will not be your cooking pot, but you will be the meat in it. I will judge you at Israel's frontier, and you will know that I am a Adonai. You, for you have not lived by my laws, obeyed my rulings but have acted according to the rules of the nations surrounding you. God says, hey, you will be the meat. He says, why? Because you have not, what? We have not done according to his laws, his principles, his rulings. Amen. We have been, what? Totally disobedient to his word. And that makes, what, Yeshua angry. His destruction is coming upon what? A disobedient people. A people that refuse to obey. A people that refuse to hear. A people that refuse to listen, to do all that he commands us to do. Amen. And Yeshua is not happy with this. He's not pleased with it. He's angry. Yes. <clears throat> And falling into the hands, what, of an angry God. Amen. Yes, God. I pray that's a God. I don't want you to be angry at me. I don't need a Lord. I pray I ask him every day, help, you help me to do things. Not according to my perspective. I don't want to be 
and call myself pleasing God and I'm not pleasing him. I want to please him according to his perspective. What he says is pleasing to him. Yes. What makes him happy? Yes. Amen. Amen. So if I don't do it the way that he, what makes him happy, then I'm, I'm doing it what? In vain. Yes. You know, because I, I like I like Coca Cola. You may not like Coca Cola. If I bring you a Coca Cola to drink and you don't like it, that's not pleasing to you. No. Amen. Amen. You might just like plain old water. You might like a uh, 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 juice. You might like uh, a different type of soda. Amen. Now, if I bring you what you like, then that's pleasing to you. Amen. Yeah. We gotta ask you sure from your perspective. Help me to do those things that are pleasing to you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. As I was prophesizing, Platyahu, the son of Benaiah, died. I fell down on my face and cried out, O oh, Adonai Elohim, are you going to destroy completely those of Israel who are left. See. Remember that Platyahu was one of the ones that was doing what? They were practicing wickedness. He was doing that that is evil. Yes. And all of a sudden God just took his life. Amen. Amen. He didn't have a chance at repentance. Amen. Amen. There was a lot of people, you know. That are going, they don't have a chance of repenting now. Amen? Amen. And it's too late. Yes. And they're suffering in hell. Yes. Amen? A lot of them want to get back and tell people, look, oh no, hell is real, hell is real, but they can't do that even. A lot of people want to see other people that love wants to be saved, to be delivered, amen? But they can't tell them. Now, if you don't believe that, amen, we know the story about the rich man and Lazarus. The rich man said to uh, Father Abraham, he said, look, you know, uh, send Lazarus back, you know, to my family, my brother, because one come back from the dead, amen, and tell him, amen, you know, about this place, baby, they, 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 they'll follow God. They'll be God. And Father Abraham said, no, there's a gulf between us. They can't go back. And even if they did go back, they wouldn't believe. They wouldn't believe. A lot of people come up with a lot of people, they lie. Don't believe that there's a hell. Don't believe that they're going to suffer in hell. They don't believe it. I tell you what, if I make that choice today, man, I don't feel sorry for them. All right, they could be sons, daughters, mothers. I, I, I don't feel sorry for them. I cry out for them, amen. I ask God to forgive them, amen. I open up their eyes that they might see the truth, but that's the choice that they're making, amen. After knowing the truth, there's nothing I can do. No, I can't do no more than that. Amen. Cool. Going to hell is a conscious choice. Especially if you know that's where you're going. Amen? He says, Then the word of Adonai came to me. Human being, it is to your kinsmen, your brothers, your relatives, and the whole house of Israel that the people living in Jerusalem have said, Get away from Adonai. This land has been given to us to possess. Therefore say that Adonai Elohim says this. True, I removed them far away from among the nations and scattered them among the countries. Nevertheless, I have been a little sanctuary for them 
in the countries to which they have gone. Therefore, say that Ella, Adonai Elohim says this, I will gather you from the people and collect you from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give the land of Israel to you. Then they will go there and remove all its loathsome things and disgusting practices, and I will give them unity of heart. He said, hey, you know, you've been scattered. There's a lot of people in a lot of different churches and synagogues right now have been scattered, amen. And there's a lot of people that want to be true to the word of God. He said, hey, I'm going to gather you all together and give you what unity of heart. Those that want to be obedient. You come to the house of God and be faking and and playing like you saved, and acting like you saved, acting like you full of reality, acting like you're holy. But if you're not, you sure is going to see that. Amen. Amen. And you're not going to make it into the kingdom. You can't fool him. No, we can't. Amen. The kingdom of God is for those that are being subject and being obedient to God that will allow you sure the word to come in and make the changes in us that are what necessary for us to make it to the kingdom of God. To equip us with the heart, mind, and soul that we need in order to spend eternity with Him. Right now, in this human form that we're in, we're not equipped to make it into the kingdom of God. That's why we need this holy word. That's why we need this Tanaka, so that we'll be what equipped. That we need Yeshua, we need Abba Yahweh to come into us, to dwell in us, and in other words, live in us, so that what we can make it into the kingdom of God. Without them, we can't make it. Amen. We can't make it without them. Thank you, Lord. He says, Then, excuse me, and I will give the land of Israel to you. Then they will go there and remove all the loathsome things and disgusting practices. And I will give them unity of heart. I will put, what, a new spirit among you. I will remove from their bodies the heart of stone and give them hearts of flesh. So they will give so they will live by my regulations, obey my rulings, and act by them. In other words, say, you got to have me in order to obey the rulings of God. Amen. Amen. He said, these stony hearts of ours got to gotta be removed. But we don't make headways or, 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 or strive to become holy, to become real, to obey word, the word of God. Through prayer and supplication, asking you sure to come in and cleanse us and purge us of our wicked and evil ways, guess what? He'll let us remain that way. Yes, Amen. Amen. And we won't make it. We won't be able to receive him. Amen. Amen. And then you'll end up what? Spending eternity in hell. Yes. Amen. I don't know if anybody wants to go to hell, but if we don't go up there and obey God, that's exactly where you're going to spend eternity at. There is no middle ground. And none whatsoever. There is no middle ground. Thank you, Lord. I will remove their body, from their bodies the heart of stone and give them hearts of flesh so that they will Live by my regulations, obey my rulings, and act by them. Then they will be my people, and I will be their God. But as for those whose hearts go after the heart of their loathsome things and disgusting practices, I will bring the consequences of their ways on their own heads, says the Donna Elohim. And he's saying, look, if you don't want me, then your choices will come down what upon your own head. Yeah. Now if you want me, if you want to choose me, I'm going to help you. 
Because I'll come in, I'll clean you up, I'll give you a heart of flesh, I'm going to take, I'm remove that stony heart of yours. Yes. And I'm going to cleanse you, I'm going to purge you. Yes. I'm going to help you make it into the kingdom. But if you decide that no, you rather keep sinning, you rather keep on doing wickedness, it says that, well, you have made that choice of that you want hell. And I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you have it. Yes, sir. You know. If you don't want to get rid of that unforgiving heart, if you don't want to get rid of greed, if you don't want to get rid of lying, you don't want to get rid of stealing, you don't want to get rid of fornication or adultery or homosexuality. Yes. If you don't want to get rid of these things, if you don't want to get rid of those things that God calls an abomination, that he calls uh, evil, that he calls wicked, then you, yes. then that's the things that you're choosing. Yes, sir. Amen. You want, those are loathsome things. They say you done made a bad choice. The caravan lifted their wings and the wheels were next to them. With the glory of the God of Israel over them above, next the glory of Adonai rose from within the city and stood over the mountain, which is on the east side of the city. Then a spirit lifted me up and brought me in, in the vision, by the Spirit of God, to the exiles in the land of Castor, after which the vision I seen left me. So I told the exiles everything Adonai had shown me. See, Ezekiel said, hey, look, I, I showed you people everything that God has shown me. Yeah. And he's telling us, what God has shown him, amen. And I don't worry, we've just gotten a little bit more updated version of what we're seeing, what's going to happen, amen, amen, to the people. See, we have a choice. Yes, sir. We have a choice. Amen. 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 I'm praying that we all make the right choice. I'm praying that, you know, you sure will open up our eyes so that we will see the evil and the wickedness that we're walking in, that we're living in, amen, and that we will ask, repent of our sins, repent of our wicked ways, and ask the sure to come in and cleanse us and purge us, that we might receive what? A heart of flesh. That he would come in and do that operation and take out our stony hearts, which is taking us to hell, and get rid of them. Amen. So you got, we got we got to let go of the cares of this world, yes. cares of this life. Amen. 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 And choose you sure how I'm saying. Yes. Okay. I know that we said something that will help us make it into the kingdom of the Lord. Amen. If we would just sit up there and obey, if we would stand on His word, walk in His truth, and obey every word that comes out of His mouth, we can make it to the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 I thank you, sure, for today. Amen. We'd like to invite you to attend services with us. Amen. We're located at 4935 Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. Amen. We also, uh, if you care to uh, write us or uh, you want to send in an offering, uh, you can write us at Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ Mixed Community. You make your checks and money orders out to that. Amen. And you can write us at Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ Mixed Community, P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama, 36461. If you care to call us, you may call us at 251 593 3671 or you may call us at 251-593-3683. Uh, we are, our service times are Friday evening at the beginning of the Sabbath, 6 p.m. And on Saturday morning, Sabbath day, at 11 a.m. Amen. Those are our service times. Amen. 
Also, uh, if you care to uh, email us, you may email uh, Apostle Pastor Carrie Goldstein. Uh, her email address is Jesuswoman at Frontier.com. Again, that's Jesuswoman at Frontier.com. I'm Chief Apostle Norman Goldstein. If you care to email me, my email address is Jesusman at Frontier.net. Dot net. We also uh, ask you to uh, invite you to have prayer service with us, amen, when we have prayer, amen, we pray at home or where we are at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. We can see, look about us and see that much prayer is needed, not only for ourselves, but for this world, this dying world, hell-bound world, amen, much prayer is needed. So please join us at those designated times, amen, to have prayer. Lift up prayer in unity. Amen. It's important. Amen. That's why the love of many is waxing cold because people don't want to pray for anybody anymore. They don't want to pray anymore. They don't have time to pray. Amen. So, you know, when we see the situation in this world as it gets, as it deteriorates, as it gets worse, then we know why. Amen? Because mm -hmm. of our doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. Amen. So let us have, you know, prayer. We also invite you to have uh, Bible studies in your homes. Amen. Mm -hmm. I and mean, whoever can, you know, read in the Bible, have Bible studies. Amen. Ask questions. Amen. Pray to the Lord, Yeshua Ham said, and ask Him to give you understanding and clarification of His Word. Amen. We want to say that we love you. Amen. We love you, Yeshua. Perfectly. We'll see you next uh, Sabbath day, Friday evening at 6 p.m. Be blessed. Happy Mother's Day to all of us. Give your hands, Mother of the Faith.